Being a comedian is harder than what you do. What I do is much harder. I put material through a process, a comedic process. I don't just you sit are and narrate. <laughs> I heard once that some things are funny. If you find humor in something, you should make it your life goal to make sure that everyone understands it completely. The two best pieces of advice I ever received in my entire life go as followed. First, find that part of myself that can and will with great efficiency and force dissect joke structure and humor in ordinary and filmic situations to those who are able to do it themselves. Second, always have a nice pair of pressed pants. I don't want the viewer of this film in any way to think that I am downplaying their intelligence or thinking that they are unable to decipher and understand jokes and humor on their own. The reason I'm making this video is because I've received a lot of comments from different types of people. Jews, Asians, black people. The reason I'm making this video is I've received a lot of comments from people asking me, does this make me look fat? The reason I'm making this video is because I've received several comments from different people telling me that they're having difficulty understanding the humor and jokes in certain movies, stand-up comedy routines, and TV shows. So I thought I would be of service and help you out. Here we go! I know you might be having some difficulty understanding the joke here, but I want you to know, it's gonna be okay, we'll get through this together. Though the backstory of this clip is important, it may not be as important as you may think. You see, silly and physically comic humor have been around forever. Any Charlie Chaplin film or Three Studios will prove that point exactly. But this clip is funny for so many reasons. You might notice the character, in this case, Victor Pulak, wearing a tight, sleeveless shirt. Where did his, where did his sleeves go? You might also notice his hair. This is what they call the industry a Jufro. So now that we have established costume and style, we can now begin to fully understand what makes this joke humorous. For this clip, it might be helpful to put yourself in his position. You remember when you took driver's ed, they told you to always look straight ahead and pan back and forth to make sure there's no obstacles in your way. Now, if you notice the character, you'll notice he's doing just this. Any driver's ed instructor would compliment him on his attentiveness. A plus, Victor! Alright, so this is where it gets tricky, but also where the humor comes in. You might be asking yourself why, if the character is doing everything correct in automobile caution and etiquette, how he could possibly crash into that tree on the side of the road. Well, my friends, this is what some people have described as the joke. <laughs> it is because of the lack of sense in the situation and how you, things usually take place in the world that really ties this joke together. As the viewer, you're unsuspecting of the outcome of such a situation, so when it does happen, it's not only a little shocking, but spontaneously wonderful and funny. See, that wasn't that hard. We got through that one, right? I know you were a little nervous about not understanding the humor in this clip, but I hope through my tedious explanation, we can come to some conclusion that this wasn't useful at all. 